What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about what's going on with Sly Cooper 5. This is part of my series that I, I'm trying to do, and I think it's actually working really, really well, where I want to uh, take a look at some properties, some games, and talk about kind of their status right now. And so if there's any game or franchise you guys want me to talk about in the future, definitely let me know in the comments, and I will get to as many as possible. But I got to give Sly Cooper some love right now. And so what we, I want to do here, basically, is kind of go through where we're at, where we're at with the rumors for Sly and what we could be uh, seeing for, for, I guess, the, the near future and the long-term future. So I am fully, obviously, in the camp that Sly uh, has come back, and he's come back behind the scenes, right? Sly 5 is being worked on behind the scenes. Well, maybe, okay, when I say Sly 5, right, there's obviously debate, and we can talk about that in this video, what I mean by Sly 5, but there is a new Sly Cooper game being worked on. I fully believe that rumor. To this moment, it is just a rumor, right? Started by Special Nick over on Twitter, a guy that's kind of like, you know, our leader in the Sly Cooper fandom for, you know, breaking it. He was the first one to break the news that uh, he heard from a source that Sly 5, and he did say Sly 5, was in development. Uh, and, and really, since then, we have gotten very, very little news. Obviously, we've had, like, account NGT uh, kind of pop up and talk about how he believes the thing is real, that we would see it later this year. They've both said that before, that we would see the game later this year. And that's kind of where we're at. We have uh, we have them saying uh, it sounds like it's Pixel Opus is the developers. They're the ones who made Concrete Genie. So if you believe the rumors, you would believe that Sly Cooper is making a return for PlayStation and the developers of Concrete Genie are working on it. It hasn't been worked on for too, too long, right? I mean, at this point, maybe two years, maybe, I mean, give or take, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, and that obviously factors in when you think, okay, well, when could the game come out, right? If you think long-term future, when does the game release? Obviously, the, the, the month or even the year of when they started making this game is pretty important, because you can kind of, well, you know, if you're giving them two years, uh, that sounds like a pretty rushed game, in my opinion, and I, I've said that in past videos. I don't know, of course, I want it, like, as soon as possible, but I mean, if they've been only working on it for like a year and a half or so, and they give it to us two years, you know, into making it, is that enough time to make a brand new, from the ground up, you know, a, a, a reboot of Sly Cooper, bringing him back from modern ages? Is that going to do it justice? And and I guess the answer is we don't know. We don't know the answer to that. Now, on top of that, obviously we've had some other things here and there. We had the Ratchet and Clank, um, you know, rift apart last year. We had the press, or I guess the marketing tour, let's call it right where they had images, and they had Sly being one of the images, right? They did with Uncharted, they did with Horizon, I mean, they and, and, and Sly just seems so out of the ordinary at the time, right? I think everybody kind of caught on to it, where it's like, you pick Sly, look, again, nothing wrong with that, but it's like, it's kind of odd that you pick Sly Cooper for your Ratchet and Clank, again, like a marketing thing where he's going into other dimensions and seeing, and, and Sly was one of them, very, very odd. Then you, of course, had the thing that, even if you believe none of the rumors, right, none of the stuff I've already said, the next part is something that I do think has gotten a fair amount of people onto the Sly Cooper bandwagon, is last year's PlayStation Showcase, right? They did, in the beginning, that uh, basically chess match, right? Whether it was a dig at Microsoft or Xbox or whatever, but it was, you know, a, a, a play on a lot of the properties that, that PlayStation has, and Sly Cooper was in it. Now, Sly Cooper was in it as a very small Easter egg that blink if you miss it, right? Blink if you miss it. But it was the logo, and it was in that, you know, advertisement that they played at the beginning of the State of Play. Or, the sorry, the PlayStation Showcase. Bigger, right? That was the big one that they did last year where they showed God of War Ragnarok again. They did uh, Spider-Man 2. They did Wolverine. And they, again, in that beginning had Sly Cooper as the, just the logo. Just the logo of Sly. And that, again, to me, that's enough. That's enough to signal... Like, why would you do that if you weren't considering, or not even considering, I guess, why would you do that if there wasn't something cooking, right? And, and, and that's where I've kind of stood since then. But even we, without that, we've had the rumors from Special Nick. With that, you got even more. Oh, final thing, I guess, uh, I believe it was last year, right, last summer, the Sly Cooper Funko came out. Um, now, look at read into that or don't read into it. I got it. I mean, I love it to death. It's, a, it's an amazing Funko Pop. But, I mean this long after the game you know i mean it's been this long and we now get one i mean yes you could make it work for whatever narrative you want to spin right if you want to say hey well it's a playstation icon you got people like kratos you got like joel and ellie like of course you'd want to eventually get sly all right all right you know and, and it's been long enough maybe it was a long petition to get it working i could believe that or 
or Sly Cooper's coming back and they want merchandise to kind of match it. There's also, by the way, been very loose rumors of Sly coming as a uh, like a TV series. You know, Sony uh, wants to move into that with The Last of Us and doing a Ghost of Tsushima movie and, and Jack and Daxter. It seems like that's happening. Like all of these different things that are happening for Sony in terms of movies and shows. Sly Cooper has been rumored, and I know they already had one that was canceled, kind of like last minute. But there's a rumor that they're going to be making a new one. All right, so that's that's kind of all the rumors, and what that leads us to now is a wait and see, right? Uh, I think a lot of people expect a PlayStation Showcase in September. I know I, I certainly do. I know a lot of other people do as well. But I do think that makes sense. And September, I believe it's September 23rd, is the day that Sly Cooper, the, the first game, came out in 2002. So this September 23rd is the 20th anniversary of Sly Cooper. Pretty big. Pretty big. And when I was doing an interview, I, I interviewed Kevin Miller, the voice of Sly Cooper, I think that was last year. Uh, I talked to him about that, where it's like, hey, you, know, you think they could do something. Now, by the way, from his own words, his own mouth, uh, the, you know, at the time, a year ago, he had not been contacted to, you know, to, to do anything. Of course, he could have been lying to me. Of course, that could have, uh, the next week after, they could have contacted him for Sly 5, right? Obviously, lots of stuff happened. But at the time, that's what he said. But I, I think... You, you, you got to do it. You got to do it. I, look, I'm not saying the PlayStation Showcase has to be September 23rd. In fact, I would assume it probably won't. But the odds are, considering there's a lot of days in September, that it probably wouldn't land on the 23rd, right, this, the, uh, the PlayStation Showcase. But whenever it is in September, I really would expect a tease of the logo, the new logo, or, like, the updated logo, the title, and some brief little thing where you hear his voice or you hear the music in the background or you see like his cane or something, right? There's just something to indicate that Sly has returned. And it says 2023. It ends with 2023. We don't see anything else. You know what? I, that really to me is kind of like the best that we could envision. Um, I'm not asking for too much. I'm not asking for like a 10 minute gameplay presentation. I mean, if they want to give me one, sure. But you know, if, if they don't, if that's all they gave, I think that's enough just to kind of say, you know, the Sly Cooper has returned and he'll be back in 2020. Awesome. That's where I'm at. That's honestly where I'm at, and that's what I think is going to happen. Now, whether it's a, you know, what is it? That's going to obviously be a big question. Will it be a, uh, like, literally, are they just going to continue where they left off with Sly 4? Well, it's not going to be them. It's not Sanzaru, right? So do they choose to accept 4 as part of the canon? Is this a soft reboot where they pretend 4? Four didn't happen, and they take one through three, and that like that happened one through three, and they do uh, I guess uh, like a replacement four almost, or you know, or whatever. I, I I don't know. I would like I know four didn't end obviously in the greatest place. I know four had some pretty big story and character mistakes as that game went on, but I mean I don't know. I, I it did happen. Like it it exists and it's real and it's out and people have played it and and uh, so if I if it was me I probably would continue from it just to kind of keep everything where yes everything is canon everything is official and everything happened and then fix it F however you want to fix it however you want to get Sly out of the predicament he's in you know whatever you want to do do that for Sly Five that's what I would do we'll see if they just do kind of a a reboot by the way reboot meaning. They better have the same voice. I mean, if you can get the voice actors for everybody, you get them. I mean, I, I really think it would be one of the most disrespectful things on the face of the earth if Kevin Miller was not asked to come back as Sly and they, like, redid the voice. That would be tragic, and uh, I have a lot of things to say. Let's just say that about that. So let me know what you guys think about Sly Cooper. Do you think it'll be shown in September? You know, what game do you think it'll end up being? Let me know. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere, else all of my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next video